This is Into Math, third grade, lesson 1.6, represent multiplication with bar models. In this lesson, the I can statement is that I can use bar models to represent problems about equal groups and to write multiplication equations. Please turn to page 26 under Build Understanding, question one. The cars on the bumpy tour ride at the fair are the same size. There are five cars. Each car has three seats. How many seats are on the ride? And then it asks to complete the bar model to show equal groups. Okay, let's go back. The cars on the bumpy tour ride at the fair are the same size, so that's important for us to know. There are five cars and each car has three seats. So how many seats are on the ride? So inside the green rectangle, they already started creating a bar model for you, but they didn't complete it. And that's why it's asking for you to complete the bar model. So in this drawing, the box or the bar three is showing the car and then <clears throat> the little red dots are representing three people, and that's why they wrote the number three. So right here we have one car, and then we have another car, and each car has three in it. So we're gonna complete the number of cars, which they already told us was five, so there's two showing. So if you'd like, you can pause the video and go ahead and try this on your own or work along with me. So I show there's two, so I'm going to go ahead and complete the three that are missing. So here's one more car, and here's another car, and here's the final car. So I have five cars, and then it tells us that each car has three seats. So we can go ahead and draw those three people for that car, and three people for this car, and three people for this car. And it might be helpful for me to group them so I'll just, like they did, so I'm just gonna draw that little circle around. And then just like they did, I'm gonna write in that there were three seats in that car, three seats in that car, and three seats in that car. So now I have completed the bar model and I have equal groups of three. And how many equal groups do I have? One, two, three, four, five equal groups with three seats inside. Now we're ready to answer the A, B, C, D questions below. If you'd like to pause this video and try them on, their, on your own, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, let's follow along with me. Question A, each box in the bar model stands for a group. How many boxes should there be? There should be five boxes, which we've counted, because they told us there were five cars and we were using our bar model to represent the car. So we should write, there are five boxes. Question B, how do you know what number to write inside each box? Well, they gave us that information that each car has three seats, and so that is what we were drawing and writing inside the box. So we can write, there are three seats in each car, so I need to write three inside each box. Question C, what part of the bar model represents the total number of seats? You may have noticed this little bracket below here, and I'm gonna highlight it in yellow because I kind of wrote on top of it. This little bracket here goes all the way across and holds all of the bars, um, the, the cars that we made in our bar model. And then at the bottom here, it's telling us the number of seats that we have inside of each um, car that we created. So the part that, of the bar model that represents the total is this bracket and the label with the small gray square below the boxes that represent the total amount of seats. So this right here is your bracket, the, um, this long piece that goes across the, the bar model. And this was the label 
um, with the small gray square below the boxes that represented that total number of seats. All right, question D, how many seats are on the ride? So now here is where we need um, to count by threes um, or we can add all the threes up together or you can count the red circles, which is a visual um, for those three seats in the five box cars. So if you wanna pause and go ahead and do that and come back, when you come back, you should have the answer of 15 seats and that's because you either counted by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, or you added all of these threes together, or you counted these red squares above here for the visual. All right, we're ready to go to the next page. On page 27, question two says, each car in the zigzag ride has four passengers. So we're gonna highlight that each car has four passengers and there are three cars. We'll highlight that as well. How many passengers are there? So that's what they're wanting us to find out. Show equal groups. Question A says to draw boxes to complete the bar model. So they've started it for us and we're going to complete it and write the number of passengers in each car inside each box. Okay, so they have started by drawing one box that represents one car and we know that there are three cars and inside each car are four passengers. So this represents one car with four passengers, but we have to draw three. So let's draw the other two boxes that represent the car. So here's one and here's the other. And again, this isn't perfect. I'm just doing my very best. I have three boxes now that represent the three cars. And then inside, I'm supposed to write the number of passengers and the number of passengers in each car is four. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in here. And then I'm going to draw the bracket, which represents all of the passengers inside the cars. And so I'm gonna make this little square and I'm going to write passengers underneath to label what it is that our um, information is telling us. Okay, so question B says, what multiplication equation can you write to model the problem? And C asks, how many passengers are there? So if you'd like to pause this video and try it on your own, you can do that and come back or follow along with me. The bar model that we created shows that there are three boxes and in each box there are four passengers. So our multiplication equation and the bar model that we created shows three equal groups of four and that um, equation we can either count by fours or count all the fours together but whichever way you choose, four plus four plus four, or counting by fours, four, eight, 12, is always going to end at 12. And so three groups of fours will always be 12, which means using our label here, there were 12 passengers. And we always want to uh, make sure that we fill in the word problem with a word showing the total there, 12 passengers. Okay, great, let's go on to question three. A ride at the fair has a train with same sized cars. Uh, there are four cars, that's important information, and each car has five seats. How many seats does the train have? Draw a bar model for the problem. All right, in this example, they are not providing some of a bar model. They're expecting us to draw um, the bar model ourselves. So if you'd like to try that on your own, go ahead and pause this video and come back. Otherwise, follow along here with me. So again, we have that there are four cars and that each car has five seats. So now we need to draw a bar model that represents that. So just as before, we are going to draw four boxes to represent the cars 
in the on the ride. So here's one, two, three, four, and I'm doing my very best. These aren't going to be um, beautiful. They're just going to be very quick. And then it says that each car has five seats. So I'm going to write in five inside each car. So um, I have four cars and in each car there are five seats. And then one more thing I need to do just like we did before is, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the bracket down below here. I'm also drawing the little square with the word seats underneath as the label for what the bar model represents. So we can answer question A, uh, what does each box represent and how many boxes should there be? Well, the boxes represent the cars. So there are four cars and so there should be four boxes. Question B, what number do you write inside each box? How do you know? We wrote the number five inside each box because each box had five seats. So we would write five, each car has five seats. And question C, how many seats does the train have? You can use the bar model to count by fives or add the, all of the fives together to find five plus five plus five plus five or four equal groups of five make 20 seats. Remember, you can always go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way as needed.